Hello, welcome to another devlog. Um, I've got a couple of things to show, uh, the things I've been up to. Um, so let's get into it. So um, first things first, this is the street. There's a couple of new things here. One is that I've built another type of house, uh, bungalow, uh, to go with the first one. Um, I haven't finished it yet because I haven't uh, made a garden for the bungalow. So at the moment it's just replicating the double the double gardens of the semi-detached house. So that's still to do, but uh, that's the second house. And I think I've pretty much decided now that three is the number. So there'll be three different types of houses in the end. At the moment there are just two. Um, but most significantly, for me at least, is that I've got these telegraph poles in. And um, it's a big deal. It took me a lot of effort because um, all of the wires between the houses and the poles and between the poles are procedurally generated. And um, it's pretty simple, really. It's just making a, a line between a house and a pole. And then, sorry about that, um, it makes a line and then it draws a mesh along that line um, and puts some droop into it. It's got some parameters in there for me to control uh, how much droop there is and the thickness of the wire, the resolution of the wire um, and all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, it's the first time I've done any procedural generation of meshes and um, I found it quite challenging because I'm not really up to the maths involved. But uh, I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Um, so I've got telegraph poles in now. And um, yeah, that's, that's that. Uh, I'm still going to put lampposts into the street, but apart from that, the street I think the road and the pavements are now are now done in terms of details and stuff. Um, so you're gonna notice a few um, like judders, judders, and that's because like there, that's because uh, I, I haven't optimized stuff yet. I'm I know how to get rid of those, and it's not a big deal. It's a little annoying at the moment, but they'll be gone soon. The second thing that I've been working on is back gardens. This is all as I as I showed last time, or the time before. Uh, but I've been working on the back gardens to all the other houses. And um, I've removed all of the walls for this, so that I can, or all the walls and fences between the gardens, so they, uh, they aren't here. But everything else is, is being generated I think that the gardens might still be a little bit sparse and that's fine. I'm going to make some more bushes and shrubs and things to put in them and a couple of flower beds to add a bit more colour and break up the, the green. Um, maybe a path or something will be possible but hmm, maybe not. Um, so yeah, the, the gardens are now all uh, randomised for each house. They have sheds and trees of different sizes, uh, garden furniture of a couple of different types, a few sort of um, play things, toys, garden toys, whatever. Um, some vegetable patches. Um, and anything else interesting? Oh, my favourite is the green house, which I think is quite cool. Slide, mm, different type of vegetable patch, and different type of tree, and that's it. I haven't started tweaking the 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 variables on all of this uh, yet. Oh, there's a mistake there. That wall should be white. I should go look at that. Um, so yeah I haven't tweaked all the variables yet. Uh, the gardens are still a bit sparse. It's fine to have big empty areas but I want a little bit fewer. I want it to be less common that you have big empty areas. 
Um, but the code is all pretty much there for, for doing the gardens. And what's missing, I think, is... What did I say? Some flowers. Flowers, I think, will really um, bring some more colour in. Break everything up. Um, so, yeah, those are the two things that I've really kind of been focusing on. Oh, and, um, and a menu. Uh, finally put a menu in there. Uh, not very functional yet, but it has some settings, which sort of sometimes do something um, and you know got some different bits and pieces these don't do anything yet but um, the game has a menu I do not have a title for my game yet and um, it'll, it'll come um, although I think on all the other projects I've done I've been kind of like um, mulling over ideas and had more sort of uh, more in the pot as far as the title goes at the moment I don't I think what I might do this coming week is um, spend some time writing um, I want to um, maybe write a final version for the end of the game and um, there's also one of the narrative sections, one chapter, I guess. I haven't written at all, so it'd be good to get uh, get that pinned down. One of the reasons why I haven't been doing much work in the house. There are bits and pieces in the house that I've done, nothing worth really showing. But So in particular, the uh, downstairs flat is... Um, is unchanged I haven't put extra stuff in here and that's largely because there's a chapter which happens in the flat and and I haven't written it yet so um, I don't know exactly all of the furniture all of the items that are going to go there because the, the environments reflect the story um, so um, yeah I'm gonna try and write a bunch uh, as well as continue muddling on with modeling and things um, so yeah, uh, I guess that's probably everything for this week. Uh, thanks very much for watching and toodle pep.